What is going on, y'all? Robert Sykes, KetoSavage.com. Crystal Sykes, LadySavage.com. And we're coming at you with another recipe. This one is chicken nuggets. And apparently a lot of people have been making this. That's what you said, right? Yeah, so a lot of people have been making this. It's three ingredient chicken nugget recipe. And I was like, that's way too simple. And everyone's doing it. Why would we do it? But I want the whole world to know because it seems so stinking simple. We've never tried so, this before. And everyone, let me tell you, everyone was using canned chicken. And I, for one, think that is disgusting. Maybe I'm the only person in the world. So I made my own chicken. And I'll tell you how I did it. So I just stuck the chicken in the Instant Pot. It was in there for 15 minutes on manual and then um, I just made sure that there was no waters or oils or anything like that. You can even like damp it so where it's um, dry with like a paper towel. And then <clears throat> I just stuck it into the um, blender and it blended it up beautifully and now we're gonna use it rather than using canned chicken. It literally took, like the actual effort took maybe five minutes. The cooking part of it took 15, so if you want to use can, that's fine. But this is a better option. <laughs> All right, what do I do? <laughs> so we're literally just gonna add these together. So there's one pound of chicken, one cup of cheese, and um, I think you can pretty much use whatever cheese you want. I have not actually made this before, and I didn't take anyone else's specific recipe because they were using like very little amounts of chicken. So I like doubled the chicken and just decided that this is what we were gonna use. So, we're using one pound of chicken, one cup of cheese, whoop, and two eggs. All right. I'm really excited to see how these turn out. We're going for a certain texture with these eggs. A certain texture? Yeah, because it's supposed to be mixed evenly, I'm assuming. Yeah, everything is supposed to be mixed evenly because then you're going to like ball them up and put them on the sheet pan. Excuse me. I did heat up the oven to 425 degrees. Another thing that everyone else was doing was sticking them in the air fryer. We don't have an air fryer at our house. We have it at the warehouse for the crew to use. Um, just when I'm home, I prefer to use the stove top or the oven. So um, that's what we decided to do. <clears throat> so we're going to um, we're going to use the oven and we're going to put it on 425. You can stick it in the air fryer. I don't remember what I tried not to really look at everyone else's recipes. Is so that enough? Like, maybe one more egg? You think that's no, good? No, I think that's good. That's good. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to add a little bit of seasoning. But I tried not to look at other people's recipes because I didn't want to be convinced to do it one way or another. So we're just winging this. It's the savage this recipe. Is, this is how you can learn. This is how you can learn how simple this is or not. If we totally mess this up, then don't follow our recipe. All right, you wanna try and make a handful? Yeah, you think that's enough seasonings? I mean, I'm always heavy handed on the salt and pepper, so. All right, let's add a little bit more of both. And then I have a sheet pan here. Again, you can use the um, air fryer. Um, I think it was like 10 minutes, and you don't have to flip them. When we are doing our recipe, um, I'm gonna put them in there at 425, and then we'll, we're gonna flip them just because they're probably gonna need it in the uh, oven. Okie dokie. I don't think there's a perfect way of doing this, but just like little bite size what you would want, which this is just gonna be so wonderful. I'm excited so? about this, yeah. You could also use um, uh, cookie molds if you want to make your chicken nuggets in like dinosaur shapes or things like that. Uh, but we don't have any molds. You still like balls? Um, yeah, just like little balls, but kind of like flattening them out. Our cheese is also a little bit more, um, whoa. Um, a little bit more. What's that whoa for? We're that was a big one. Um, it's a little bit thicker, so you can get like a finer grade, but we just grade it here ourselves rather than getting the pre, pre shredded ones. Whoa. Stop taking that spoon out, you crazy. Why, why are you getting the spoon? Just use your fingers. 
because I have nails. <clears throat> all right, now that these are all balled up, well, the first sheet pan is, we're gonna stick them in the oven. It's at 425. We're gonna stick them in there and see when they get crispy on the outside, and then I'll let you guys know what what temp or how long that was until it is real crispy on the top. So here we go. All right. All right. <laughs> it's been 10 minutes. We're gonna open up the oven, bring them out here, flip them over, and then stick them right back into the oven. They look pretty delicious to me. Ooh, those are gonna look so good. They smell good. Probably could flip them over by hand, honestly. And then what am I gonna do? There we go. Yeah, these look delicious. All right, so I'm gonna assume that we're gonna stick them back in there for another 10 minutes. So. We'll see you guys in just a bit. Yeah. All right, y'all, so it's been 10 minutes on one side, flipped it 10 minutes on the other side. This is what we're working with right here. They look delicious. They look delicioso. We got some Primal Kitchen ketchup, which I like a lot, actually. As far as ketchup goes, this is pretty good. Um, so. I did check the internal temperature just to make sure that these were perfect, and it was, 10 minutes on each side. Wow. <laughs> it was 10. Careful there. Okay. Oh, Woo. okay. <laughs> Anyways, 10 minutes on each side, and it they come out perfect. So, here we go. I'm excited. Try this one. A little warm still. Yeah, they're probably going to be a little came out hot. of the oven. <clears throat> oh, I should have tried it without the ketchup first. Let me try the other side first without the ketchup. No ketchup side. Hot. Tastes pretty good. A little too much pepper. Hmm? A little too much pepper. Mm -mm. Right, let me try it like with the ketchup side. They are hot. I would I need to like take like, a bigger bite. Yeah. They taste like chicken nuggets. Mm-hmm. They even smell like a chicken nugget. Mm-hmm. What do you think? A plus? Yeah. I mean, if your kid is used to like those dino uh, chicken nuggets, it does definitely not taste the same, but... What's a dino chicken nugget? You know, like the ones that are cut like a dinosaur. Mm. Like the ones that you get out of the freezer. Mm. They definitely don't taste like that, but they are definitely a good replacement for that. Mm -hmm. um, I also was just talking about how these would be great as a freezer meal, like just making a whole bunch at one time, sticking them in the freezer, and then pulling them out anytime. You just need like a quick lunch for the kids, or you need to just grab and go. You can stick them in the, the um, air fryer, <clears throat> or heat them up in the microwave if you use the microwave. Um, but I think that would be good. I'm digging it. Super simple, super oh, yeah. easy, three really ingredients. Good. I'm all about the easy ingredient kind of recipe, so mm -hmm. it's good. Um, for the complete recipe breakdown, the videos, the recipe, the macros, all that good stuff, check out the website, ketosavage.com. Isn't that right, babe? Mm -hmm. And I'm supposed to say, uh, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell, and all hit those other bell. things that hit people like say. Button. Hit the like button, yeah. Uh, share to your friends and neighbors and fellow countrymen. Um, that's pretty much all I got. So we'll see y'all for the next Keto Savage Kitchen.